So, uh, welcome to another program. We want to talk about today uh, the meeting between uh, CHP leader Özgür Özel and AKP leader and the president Tayyip uh, Recep Erdogan. Uh, this has happened last week early, and uh, we want to talk about the outcome and the potential threats and opportunities to both parties. And what does it mean uh, to Turkey? So, without any further delay, let's start. Now, the meeting took place between Özgür Özel and CHP leader Özgür Özel and uh, uh, AKP leader uh, Tayyip Recep Erdogan uh, took place early this week. Uh, gives or only uh, gives the opportunity to parties to weigh each other, what their interests and uh, what their priorities are. Basically, they they just declare some of the things that they think it should be sold right now and what their expectation from each other. So from JEP uh, expectation, they want to uh, ease the conditions and, if possible, uh, release the uh, prisoners from the Gezi, uh, I will say, uh, uh, protests. And also they want uh, the municipality budgets to be released by the government uh, institutions, especially for Istanbul. It makes a very sense since Ekrami Momol is a very important figure also in the party. And also uh, they want... Uh, more information to be released to party leadership, at least uh, when it comes to especially to foreign uh, policies. So in these three uh, areas, we can all summarize what uh, JEP wants. From Erdogan, the only thing that we have been hearing is a strong ground is uh, support for the, to change the constitution. And now we need to talk about what does it mean. Uh, AK Party has been uh, winning the elections up until, I will say, 2019 with uh, more than 50% of the supporters from the Turkey. Now, after the 2000, we didn't know, say, 2019s, we see the uh, first uh, drawbacks from J uh, AK Party. They lost uh, Ankara and also Istanbul to opposition party, JHP. And now, within 23 and 24, despite the fact that in 23, uh, May, if I'm doing or June, they, they won the election, the presidential election. They We see that the loss of the uh, votes. And now, in 2024 March, they lost the major, um, majority of the cities, especially if you consider the GDP rate, you know. Um, uh, they they have now the power of 27% of the GDP of the uh, country in their uh, hands as a opposition party. And this is with the uh, AK Party and others, but 25, let's say, percent is with the uh, AK Party and 1% with others. But the issue is here, uh, JEP has the, um, the the upper hand at this moment, despite the fact they are not or they are not representing the government. And they hold the municipal the municipalities, which is a great effect it means to the. Therefore, it makes a sense from JEP to ask for all these budgets to be released by the government. So they want to give more and prove to the country that uh, they can do good things for the people in their municipalities. Of course, it will not affect the, I will call it, uh, the state economy in great. However, uh, they will have the opportunities to show that um, uh, if they are going to be the uh, government, they can even do better. So it depends the performance of, of course, the uh, party. From the uh, other side of the uh, Gizi protest, it's always uh, one of the first priorities of JEP. They want uh, all these, uh, I would say, prisoners to be released. And also, uh, when it comes to the foreign policies, especially, which we call it about the uh, party's uh, business, we call it uh, the matters that is all and only related with the uh, state affairs. Uh, they want the uh, AK Party to inform them, and it has been cut since 2002 when AK Party was in uh, in the charge. So when it comes to these points, of course, it makes sense for Özgür Özel to mention about this. But the AKP expectation in return, and which we will we have no idea which ones can be met by AK Party, is a support to change the constitution, and that's a great, I will say, problem for JEP. From one aspect, you might consider that without uh, giving something, you cannot take anything back. This is what the Europeans and Americans will consider especially, and to some senses I do agree as a Turk. But as we have seen in the latest, I would say, municipality uh, elections, 
uh, and I have been stating this for a long time, uh, JAP can win any election alone or with other parties' support, but not like a support that AK Party and MHP has been doing, or before JAP and other parties has been doing, let's say the six leaders of the table, that we call the six uh, seat table, uh, but as being a leader and being attractive uh, to all the parties to come around so they can unify and form a coalition. The, the, the previous model was they all come to the table, but here one party arises and the other parties become around that coalition. That is the difference between before and now. Now, if JP will be uh, clever enough to make the policies where it might be an attractive point to other parties to come, up, come around JP uh, in the uh, forthcoming elections, JP can even uh, have a president from its own party with the support of other minor minorities, I will call them, minor parties. But the important thing is this, you know, but when it comes to constitution, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because whenever we are here hearing and reading the articles, what is going on about this constitution, it only helps Erdogan to reinforce its place as a president for the next election and to put the Akbar to priorities uh, further. Nothing about the democracy, first. Nothing about, uh, I will call it, uh, economy, nothing. Nothing about the expenses or the foreign policy, nothing. It's just to reinforce Erdogan's priorities for future, and nothing more. So it's nothing about to make the people feel safer, to let them to live in a much democratic country, to solve the people's problem, but just to enforce uh, Erdogan another term or another opportunity to run as a president for the next four or five years, starting by 2028, maybe an early election 2026. And if it is the case, even I am a um, supporter and a member of JAP, I will be against this by all heart. It cannot be an idea of uh, a, or the reasoning why we need to change a constitution for uh, for the country. Any country shouldn't. Then we are not democratic. And if we are as JAP supposed to be a democratic uh, party, then we should be against this by all heart. So this is a big problem, I believe, within JAP, at least within supporters, why we should be helping our party to change the constitution. Now he wants to decrease the uh, 50 plus, 50% 50 plus one vote in order to be government to 40%. I mean, why we are not going back to parliament then? Because it's going to be the same thing then as parliament that we had it before. So go to the prime minister, uh, the, the president office will be just a figure, the, president, the prime minister is going to have everything else with the uh, parliament and other things, you know. So why we have this 50? I personally believe that 50 percent plus one is okay for the country. The only thing that we are doing wrong from the start is how we are implementing is wrong. Otherwise, 50 percent plus one is not a bad idea. I do agree that the coalitions is not going to let Turkey to develop further. It's a big problem because everybody, everybody every country or every party. Uh, uh, it's coming from a different route, and unfortunately, they are not speaking and looking for the benefits of the country and the people, you know, and uh, no further like democratic uh, development, no further like uh, economic development or nothing else, or to be effective as a uh, foreign relations. Just you know, oh, this is my supporters. I am coming. Let's say the Kurds are saying that I, we are coming. If we are Turk Kurdish, we want a country or at least uh, all rights to be given us. And all these things and curse, curse, curse. I mean, curse. The others are coming. Oh, we are religious. We want this. Blah, blah, blah. The others saying uh, we are Atatürk. Atatürk is doing this, doing that, and we want this. But what is all these things are missing is we are living all together. And unless you are prioritizing it's, it, this as a as a figure, then you can only achieve the development for the country. Otherwise, it's impossible. You know, only small, small steps, and there will be no big steps. So these, all these things, or the majority, should be harmonized. Otherwise, Turkey is going to fail. That's why I think that for JAP, the biggest uh, threat is falling into Erdogan's uh, trick. In order to have the budget from, let's say, for municipalities or other things, he has to also consider this. The Turkey is now, uh, I will say, uh, breaking into pieces not only in uh, um, other things, but also in economy too. 
And with the uh, good things that the municipalities can do, it will not affect the country or to develop more economic or strong economy. Therefore, we should not help, uh, I believe, uh, Erdogan. What we should do is we should go on our head. Uh, we should do the foreign policies. I agree there. Foreign policy is also important. We should help other than the uh, economic and the constitutions, but we should help about the foreign policies. And uh, we should uh, at least listen and take all the informations and give our, our two, uh, I would say, the same opinion, right or wrong. But other than that, I mean, why I'm going to give economy to them? They will give us the economy. And in, in terms, we are going to give Erdogan another four or five years of uh, leadership. All we are here around at this moment, JFP, is to be against him. Now he, he wants to us to help him, and I will be saying yes, no, I can't, nobody can. So that's the biggest thing that Özgür Özel has it in his, because if he's going to say yes, or even Bling and I, the party is going to crumble. It will be a lot of things. But don't forget why all these people give you a vote at first not for constitution, to be against him and to replace him. So we need to do our best and show the people that we can do this. And meanwhile, as I said, the coalition cannot come together. You need to be rising star and you need to develop the policies that will attract other parties or at least not, you know, like by heart, but as an idea and enforce these party supporters to put pressure on their own parties to be aligned with JFP for the greater good of the country. Otherwise, it will not work. So let me think uh, in the comments what you think about this and uh, write me. Let's talk. Have a nice day. Bye.